Well, hello everyone. This is Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island and Bluffton, South Carolina. Today is March 7th, 2020. We're in Bluffton in Hampton Lake, the gated award-winning navigable lake community with beautiful homes like this one at 315 Hampton Lake Drive for sale today with three bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms. The house has 3,104 square feet. It is listed for sale with Hampton Lake Realty. I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent with 43 years of local Hilton Head Island and Bluffton real estate experience. Well, we're gonna walk through this house and see if it could possibly be for you. I think you'll like it. Before we do that, let's just take a quick look around the neighborhood here on Hampton Lake Drive. This is a community of mostly custom homes, a favorite of my upscale buyers. The annual HOA here in 2020 is $3,689. And there are some really great amenities here which include the community swimming pool with the Lazy River the fitness center, they have a spa, hard true tennis courts, the navigable lake and boathouse, the Backwater Bills restaurant, they also have the Parkside Recreation Center with the freshwater swimming lake and they're building another pool up there as well. Well again my name is Richard Kadish K-A-D-E-S-C-H. My company is Go Gated Realty, like gated communities. And I'm the gated community specialist, ladies and gentlemen. Both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademark. And of course, Hampton Lake is a gated community with a 24-hour guarded security gate. They also recently have constructed a second gate well, this house has hardy plank exterior. It has an oversized two-car garage. It's in the low country cottage style, which is otherwise known as a ranch house, but an L-shaped or courtyard-shaped house. Three real nice dormers up top, covered front porch, kind of a farmhouse look, but it's got the latest and greatest of the building materials and the energy efficiency. It's on slab, which means concrete platform. Great high ground. Let's go in and take a look. The home has a foyer hallway entrance with wide wood oak planks and wainscoting. Immediately to the left, is a home office or den. All your ceiling fans are here. The house has the cottage trim package, which is the squared off premium package, even though it looks kind of simple. It's the preferred and premium package in this area. These homes having the low country cottage style and the big open Floor plan is contemporary and what people are looking for these days. The home does have a fireplace to the right, which is a gas fireplace. Big open kitchen, single dining area to the back left. The home has a beautiful four panel sliding glass door. Those middle two panels slide left and right. And this opens to a large covered screen porch and the house has a private wooded view. We'll go out there when we finish seeing the inside of the house. So here's a look back towards our front door and for your hallway that gas fireplace is to the left and technically it is propane by the way. We have a new generation ceiling fan and the ceilings are high, flat, 10 foot high as they all are here in Hampton Lake required by architectural review. Our single 
Dining area is here at the back left with a cluster of windows with transoms letting in lots of light. A beautiful place to start your day, read your newspaper, and enjoy this private wooded view. And also where you'll take all your meals, lunch and dinner of course, if you're not taking over at the community restaurant Backwater Bills. Our kitchen has the one level island, the GE stainless appliances. Yes, the dishwasher has a stainless bin. These are marble tops and a farm sink with a commercial style faucet. We have the shaker style cabinets with the high cabinets which you see in some of the best custom homes, including this one. And the contemporary range hood and the gas top grill. Our cupboard or pantry is well located in the corner. It's worth a look because it has good size and traditional solid shelving. Our microwave has moved to the side and in a double oven configuration we have country style pulls and handles and attractive backsplash. The master bedroom is to the back right of the house and the builder which is Southern Georgia and Homes, by the way, so Southern Georgia Homes, has put wide plank oak floors right on through this room. And with a quartet of windows at the back, plenty of light coming into this house. Crown molding, ceiling fans, and a great private bathroom. With his and her vanities, same stone that we saw in the kitchen, undermount porcelain, sinks with the chrome hardware. And those cabinets look a little bit tinted. It's a light gray, sometimes called a glacier gray, is my best guess of the color. We have framed mirrors. Our commode is in this closet to the left, sometimes called the water closet. And in this corner, the super shower with a high window, bringing in light but giving you privacy. Beautiful tile work and an accent strip coming right down the wall. The same tile pattern is on our floor and a big, big bench. Double niche, frameless panel. This is the super shower. <laughs> and over here, between the vanities, we have our large walk-in closet for him and for her. Great built-in shelving. This house is ready to go. And again, the price, if I didn't say so already, is $649.9. $649.9. And with this type of quality, I think that you can see why. Also on a premium private wooded lot. Our floor plan is circular and flowing from the master bathroom into the laundry with a cabinet, two cabinets, also a wash bin stainless wash bin. Well, we have high cabinets and low cabinets in here, if I'm going to be exact in my description. And you'll provide your own washer and dryer in that space to the left. It's beautiful tiled floors. And this traffic pattern takes us out here into this central area to the right, off of which there are several rooms. Let's head back towards our 
our living area, just to get oriented, here is the kitchen dining area. So we're coming off of the hallway to the right, and our first stop is the powder room. And that is a beautifully paneled wall going right up to the ceiling. High baseboards squared off with the cottage trim. That next door to the left is a storage closet. Well, we need that. We need all the storage we can get here in the South Carolina Low Country. That is our laundry to the left. Here is, we'll call it bedroom number two, which has its own private bathroom here to the right. Same quality that we saw in the primary bathroom, but just a smaller vanity and a tub with a traditional white tile surround, looking very good. Stylish tiled floor, a small walk-in closet, but with some very good built-in shelving, similar to what we saw in the primary bathroom. This being our second bedroom, beautifully carpeted and with a ceiling fan. Across the hall, bedroom number three. Bedroom number three has a pair of windows with little transoms above it. Also has a ceiling fan. Immediately to the left is our private bathroom. Very similar in quality and style to the bathroom number two that we just saw. This bedroom faces forward towards the street and is under the canopy of our covered front porch, which of course is great for keeping the room shady in summer. Also a good passive solar feature. This home has tall panel doors and is painted a very soft gray color on the walls. This is bedroom number three. Turning towards the front of the house, and that is the garage door straight ahead, we have some tall judges paneling just inside the garage door. Our wood floor continues. Our bonus room up the stairs to the left with the wooden treads. Before we go there, let's take a look into the garage, which is a very large, oversized garage. I suppose that that is redundant but this could have been built as a three-car garage, and it's possible that the builder could build one for us with a three-car garage, if that's what you prefer, because you might respond to this video after this one has sold. Those are your wind shutters back there in that extra alcove in the garage to meet the code. So you could cover your windows in a storm. I don't think you'll ever need to do that. Automatic door openers on the garage doors. You see this is a finished garage, even with the baseboard all the way out here. Well, let's go up and see that bonus room. So on the first floor, the house has three bedrooms and an office. On the second floor, the bonus room, as it's oftentimes called, is the heated and cooled space over your garage. And while it does not have a bathroom here, it does have a closet. But this kind of space, of course, at the very least, provides heated and cooled storage. It can be an office, a second office, a crafts room. It can be um, an exercise room, whatever you want. When you own it, you can use it however you will. Having this extra space is uh, a valuable space for many owners. So out back we have a very large screened porch with the blue paneled ceiling.
and a real private wooded view. Let's go out back and finish up. So the entire yard is just almost a third of an acre. It's actually 0.29 acres. Not so much to stay up with. Not a big grassy area, but it is uh, irrigated with pine straw around the periphery and down the side. Well, this is sure a great house, and I'd like to hear from you with your thoughts about it. But I'm even more interested in just hearing from you about the type of home and community that you want, the type of sized home you want, the type of community that you want for your lifestyle, something about your budget, your timetable. Those are the main things that we look for when we're shopping a home and a community. And as a buyer's agent, I work with my buyers to find what you want that best fits your needs. And the good thing about having a buyer's agent is that it just doesn't cost anything more. The commission that I earn is already in the price of every listed home like this one and new build because we compare new homes to resales, we compare communities, we compare builders, we compare and talk about everything that is of importance to you, be it school, medical, shopping, entertainment, all important factors in the home and community that you choose. So here's my contact information and please call any time. My cell number, 843-684-2933. My email address, rich at gogated.com. My website, gogated.com. Well, I hope you find me. I'd like to work with you as your buyer's agent. So please call, please email. Let's get acquainted. And if you liked this video, there are more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. Please subscribe. And thank you again.